Welcome to a new Airbus Instruments tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to modify the Gateway 2.0 global recording settings. The global settings will be applied to the phantom sensor of your choice. With this tool, you will be able to configure several sensors at the same time, in a quick and easy way. First, we must connect to the Gateway Settings screen. For this, the Gateway must be connected to a network. If you have not yet configured your Gateway 2.0 to send data anywhere, in the description of this video, you will find two tutorials that will teach you how to connect your Gateway to a network and to EI Analytics Service or to EI Monitoring Software. Once the Gateway is connected to a network, it will display an IP address on the main screen. Connect the computer to the same network as the Gateway 2.0. Then go to a web browser and in the search bar enter the IP address and press enter or go. This will load the Gateway 2.0 settings screen. On the left go to the collection tab. In here, we have the global settings. With the first option, you can disable the sending of the time waveform and FFT, and of the thermal image of the phantom sensors. Below, you can modify the sending interval of the time waveform and FFT. On the right side, choose between minutes, hours or days, and on the left side, select the desired value. You can switch the recording mode between triaxial and single axis mode. In the single axis mode, you can choose which axis to measure or whether to measure all three axes sequentially. You can also choose the sampler rate and maximum frequency, the resolution lines and samples per channel, and the dynamic range of your high and low range sensors. Click save when you're finished to apply your changes to the gateway. Or reset changes to return to the default values. Remember that these changes will only be applied to the sensor of your choice. but you can configure each sensor with a custom setting. If you want to know how to configure each sensor, in the description of this video, you will find a tutorial that will show you how to do it. You have finished this tutorial. If you have any question, please contact our technical support team.